How do you describe the motion of the shuttlecock and the basketball? The shuttlecock and basketball undergoes a type of motion we call as projectile motion. Now, what is projectile motion? Projectile motion is the motion of an object projected horizontally into the air and moving independently of gravity. There are two types of projectiles. It is when launched horizontally and the other type of projectile is when you launch it in an arbitrary angle. Let us talk about the components of Project Lunar. Let us talk about the components of Project Lunar. In vertical motion, the projectile is controlled by the force of gravity. Acceleration is due to gravity which is equal to 9.8 meters per second per second. The motion is classified as a free fall. And the downward displacement is equal to the height. In horizontal motion, there is no force affecting the projectile. And the horizontal displacement is called as the range. These are some of the equations for projectiles launch horizontally. For horizontal displacement, range or dx is equal to vx times time. For vertical displacement, height or dy is equal to 1 half gt squared. For horizontal velocity, it's equal to vx is equal to dx over time. For vertical velocity, is vy is equal to g times time. Let us consider this problem. The cannon ball is fired from a cliff with a velocity of 15 meters per second. How far did it travel horizontally and hit the ground after 3.4 seconds? Our given is Vi or Vx is 15 meters per second. Our time is 3.4 seconds. We are asked to solve for the range or dx and our equation is dx is equal to Vx times time. Our solution is dx is equal to Vx times time. Our Vx is 15 meters per second multiplied by the time 3.4 seconds. It will give us 51 meters. Therefore, the cannonball traveled 51 meters horizontally. What I learned about projectile motion is that objects that are thrown will get affected by gravity, air resistance, and weight. In addition, there are lots of applications of projectile motion in real life situations. We may not be aware of it, but surely it can help us understand more about the motion of the 